I'm helping my young writers to revise their work or when I'm scoring their work, really I'm looking for three things. The first thing is character change or character arc. The second thing is story structure. The third thing is dramatizing and not summarizing. The first thing that I'm helping my students with is this idea of change in a character. The character should be different at the end of the story than they were at the beginning. And this change doesn't have to be big. It can be a small change. It can be a physical change. It can be an emotional change. What's important is that they realize that their character must be different at the end of the story than they were at the beginning. The second thing is how to show that change, and that's where the story structure comes in. Now this can be beginning, middle, and end of a story. This can be somebody wanted but so then. This can be exposition, you know, rising action, story mountain, whatever. What's important is that the writer realizes that they must use some kind of structure to show this character change, to show this turning point where the character was before and how they changed after. And added to that, how the character feels about this change. Usually a story has two main, two kinds of endings. There's a physical ending where it actually ends, and then the emotional ending where the, the character, where you learn how the character feels about this ending of the story. The third thing that I help my young writers with is dramatizing versus summarizing. And I use this example in class to help them with that. I have them imagine that they are telling their dad or their mom about their school day. Most of them, it's, yeah, fine, it was okay, nothing much happened. And then I have them imagine that a friend of theirs was absent, and then they tell them about their school day. And they go on these long answers about, long descriptions of what happened in lunch, or what happened in the hallway, or this person's this, and this was so funny. What they're doing there is they are dramatizing. They've chosen different scenes, they've chosen what was important, and they've used those scenes to help explain, to show what happened that day. That example seems to help them to get their minds around dramatizing their story, and that's what I want them to do.